there we go we are now technically live there was nothing going on there apart from me muting my microphone it's good to see everyone in here so this is just going to be a really simple laid back live stream nothing too much that i'm doing aside from a bit of design work and drinking tea but how's everyone doing i don't know if there's anyone in here or in the chat yet there's a bit of a delay on the stream so i am looking i am looking for everyone in here but if you don't know what I am, I'm a designer and I hand letter things and everything else. So today we're going to be doing that. Hey, Nikal, uh, Tuski Omori, I can't pronounce your name, but what's going on? Good to see you, Ryan. There we go. David Pruitt, he's up. What's going on, David? Good to see you, man. We've got C. Campbell uh, and um, and Doctor Who, nice one. <laughs> nice one, guys. It's good to see everyone, everyone here on the stream. I'm just going to pop out my chat. Uh, because we still haven't got like a proper like you know live streaming rig so there's no music or anything like that it is mainly just me on here but today we're going to be doing some live streaming so but I'm going to say hello to everyone on here Brandon oh David Pruitt thank you so much for the ten dollars dude you were so kind you were so nice to me thank you very much good to see everyone here man David Pruitt is unreal. Are you still selling those hats? I still need to buy one, dude. Do you ship to the UK? Cool. Right. Lots of comments, lots of people. It's good to see everyone in here. Hi, Abdul. Hello, sir. Please respond to me. There you go. Hello, Abdul. <laughs> good to see everyone in here. Grace Dunn. First time watching one of these and I'm excited. Nice one, Grace. Well, today is a bit different to a normal one, so I'm not hand lettering. I did do a live stream of me not doing this one, but I'm going to be doing more live streams of me doing like, you know, hand lettering and chalk wall lettering and stuff. But today, mainly just me chilling out, answering questions, and I'm going to be designing live. You'll be able to watch. I'll give you a little preview of what we're doing um, just here. This is like uh, my illustrator. And I'm going to be vectorizing some hand lettering as uh, some merch t-shirts. And I'm going to do a giveaway of some t-shirts. So this is going to be on the merch thing underneath the video. So I want to do more of my work on there. But before we do that, I want to chat with everyone and say hello. So good to see David here. I love David Pruitt being here. He is unreal. Will logo design day. Kind of logo design, but not really. It's more of a t-shirt design day. Um, I'm, take, I'm taking it easy because I've got lots of uh, different things that I want to do for live streaming. But today I just wanted to really just sit, chill out and talk to you guys. And I wish there was music, but there isn't at the minute. What's going on, everyone? It's good to see you. Well, as I said before, if you've got any questions, just like in any sort of live stream that I do, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm just going to be sat here um, talking with you guys. I'll put it to a vote, actually. I'll put it to a vote, what we'll, what we'll do, because today I got sent a beautiful package from Adobe themselves. Um, they sent me a flask of, like, lots of other things. I'll be posting on Instagram what they sent, but it's like a nice box. Uh, from Adobe, and they sent me a game. It was hilarious, this game. Uh, it's called Make It Pop, and it's a design game. If anyone's played Cards Against Humanity and know how disturbing it is, well, get ready to be even more disturbed because this game's even weirder. So I had an idea of whether we should just do design or whatever. Naomi's not here today, no. Just me today. So <laughs> I apologize. Awesome. Yes, please, David. Please do send me a request. I'll I'll text you after. But um, yeah, we've got this game called Make It Pop. It's like Cards Against Humanity. The goal of this game or the the idea of this is to boost your creative juices and to give you ideas to do ridiculous things. So the first thing is you've got three decks of cards. You've got a blue deck, which is here. I should really have my overhead set up. You've got a black deck, which is here. And then you've got a red deck and if you want to check out the actual name and the branding of this it's called make it pop it's unreal really cool card game uh, and adobe sent it to me today so the first thing you've got to do with this card game is basically let me just sort my life out you've got to take a black card which is a task card and this one is like that it says event stand for so i've got to design an event stand for and then the client is in this red card and the red cards are obscure clients so I've got to design an event stand for a gym for overweight pets. 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me try and get that. There you go. Gym for overweight pets. And then you've got a modifier blue card, which is this. And it says, and the client really likes the color blue. I've, I've already seen these ones. So you take all these cards and you go and design something or create something based on these cards. Okay. So my thought was, well, we can either just sit and talk and do some questions um, or we could play this. We could play this hilariously fun game and just chill out for an hour or two. How does that sound? <laughs> it's called Make It Pop. It's, I think it's makeitpop.com. But um, yeah, I, I was thinking we should do that and I might have to shuffle the deck because I've seen, I've seen some of these before, in fact. So I'm just gonna shuffle the black deck first, actually. Yeah, man, this game's awesome. And um, then can we play that with you? I guess so. It's kind of hard to play it with us because we haven't got like people on the chat. There's a few ways of playing it in the book. So you can either play it as like someone who pitches it, but what you can do as well is play it as like someone who goes off and designs it in a team of people to see how creative you could be. It basically gives you everything that you need uh, as a designer <laughs> just to get in there. Right, I think everyone thinks this sounds fun. Okay, can I change the title of the stream then? Um, <laughs> Everyone likes the sound of that. Okay, let me do it. I'm changing the title. Make it. Make it pop designer. Uh, graphic design game. Okay. And I haven't got a thumbnail for it, but let's just hope it works. If you guys enjoy the video, share it around, see what happens. <laughs> okay, so what I'll do is I'll set some rules for myself. So what we'll do is I've got 10 minutes to design whatever it asks me to do in this game, okay? So I get the card, like the task card, and I have to take a blue card. So I've got three cards that I need to take. I'll have 10 minutes on the clock and I'll put my phone on to do it from when I hit Illustrator and I'll try and design it within the 10 minutes, okay? Um, thank you, the reader. I appreciate it. Cool. So let's do this and see what happens, all right? <laughs> Play cards of Patterson, basically, yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna understand it because the thumbnail is so wrong. Okay, so the first card, I'm going to, I've already shuffled them, so I, I genuinely don't know what it is, but this is the first card. I'll let you guys see it first. So it says, oh, here we go. Abandoned car email for, so I need to design an abandoned, or write an abandoned car email for, let's choose a red one. Who's this? Tamagotchi activists. Wait a minute. The Japanese digital pet trade sort of boom in the late 90s. Tamagotchis were taken from their patients into the wild and sold on the illegal pet market for years, only to poop themselves to death soon after. In 2017, their plight finally reached mainstream media. Okay, so I've got to design or write an abandoned car email for Tamagotchi activists. Now, here's the modifier, the blue one. Okay, I've already seen that blue one, so that's the color blue one. And the client really likes the color red. Red is power, red is wrath. So that's the blue one there. So the client really likes the color red. Right. Okay, I'm gonna put 10 minutes on the clock. That is my brief. This is what we're gonna, this is, this is gonna be fun. Right, let me just get 10 minutes on the clock. As you guys can see, I've got 10 minutes marked down on here. Three, wait, no, let me, let me give myself a bit of a chance. Actually, get rid of my emails, get rid of Notion and everything else. Let me give myself a chance to bring Illustrator back up. It's funny when I live stream my Illustrator goes a bit slow. Strange. All right. David Prince says, can I just say this is a super clever live stream. Guys, uh, Will Foe's stuff like this a lot. Be sure to subscribe. Yes, thank you, David. Yeah, please, please subscribe. It'd be great. Okay, here we go. We're going to start it off in three, two, one, go. So I've got to write an abandoned cart email. How would we do that? So I've got 
10 minutes to do that. I reckon I can do it pretty quick. So obviously, um, we've still, oh wait, you, got, you guys have got to see the screen. There we go. Okay. Hopefully it's still what you can see it and stuff. Right. So what do people generally write? We, uh, you still have stuff in your car. <laughs> Is that what you say? What's on my one? Right. Uh, we're going to use uh, like poppins, poppins, poppins. There we go. Okay. You still have stuff in your car. I'm not designing this. I'm literally, actually, no, I can design it to be fair. Oh, here's Naomi, I think. Hi, Naomi. You okay? All right. Good. Naomi's just come in. A band. Can't email. Okay, so it needs to be the color red because they really like the color red. You still have stuff in your... No, wait. Um, don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities. opportunities. Okay. Let me just let me just sort my life out here for a sec. Opportunities. <laughs> well, who's the client for? Uh to buy your Tama Gotchi activist uh, t shirt. No shit. Is it, does that count? Does that count as one? <laughs> this isn't probably the best one. best one. Virtual pet activist, yeah. Can we recommend Adobe to change the name of the cards against designers? I don't think it's an Adobe product. I think it's just from a, a normal guy, to be fair. I don't think it's from a normal product. Right, so I, I don't know what else to write about this. Let's have a look online. That's, um, I've got like seven minutes left to do that, so. Abandoned cart emails. Abandoned cart emails. Let's see. Uh, yeah, email example. Right. So here's the desktop. Let's find a good example that we could use. These aren't very good examples. Now sack that. I've already done it. That's. A, I mean, what do they want a logo for it? It just says to design that or to create an abandoned cart email. Right, let's sack that one off and do another one because that one wasn't very good. So I've done that. That was easy peasy. It wasn't the best though. Let's do another one. Let's do a different one. Okay. Let's do. Okay, here we go. Next one. This one is the task. Oh, I've got to create an app icon for. Please be funny. <laughs> a gym for overweight pets. Right. So I've got to design a, uh, an app icon for gym for a gym of overweight pets. Okay. And then the modifier, the blue card, is going to be. And it's 1995. Oh, 1990 saw the birth of Photoshop 1.0, bringing life to the world of computer-aided design. Everything from photo manipulation to overly artistic graphics that has screamed teen angst. Right. Anti -design nowadays. Pardon? Basically anti-design nowadays. Yeah, anti-design. So, I've got to design an app icon. Right, I've got 10 minutes to do that. So, let me just... Uh, sort out my my life over here for a sec right 10 minutes on the clock to design an app icon three two one we're off on 10 minutes so 
app icons oh i need to make sure i actually show you the screen <laughs> app icons are always like start off with this so it gives me a border to work with let's turn this into a black shape so for fat pets for fat pets okay let's just do a ridiculous thing here i'm gonna get told off let's make a cat Right, so this is going to be cat head. Right, and then I kind of need ears. Is there a way of making it like so the cat has like chins? Okay. And then. that can be white so it's 99.5 so it needs to be like really bad <laughs> this is going to be an awful <laughs> this looks awful no i need your help designing a cat i know but an overweight one what does that look like like this one just looks really round, like kind of scary looking. I know, but I'm doing it on Illustrator. Well, I would if I could. Right. I know, 1995 app icon design, it makes no sense at all. Okay. What about the mouth? What do you do for a mouth for a cat? Is it just like a, an X? Like a, I did that for the nose. <laughs> okay, wait, okay. Now we need, we need whiskers, so. Um, where's my line tool? Right, let's just get these whiskers on point before everyone starts judging me. Okay. <laughs> That's the worst app icon in the world. <laughs> Let's just lock that in place. Let's bring that down. What would you suggest like a fat cat to look like or a fat mouse? Incorporate the idea of a gym. A gym for overweight pets. And if it incorporate the idea of a gym though, it won't work. Or will it? Right, let's, let's back to the drawing board. So we've got one idea there. It looks awful, it looks horrendous. That cat looks so like dead. Okay, unlock that. I've got six minutes left. I'm not doing too bad for the time. Right. Idea of a gym. Let's just let's look online and go to animal gym. See if there's anything that pops up. <laughs> okay probably the best thing to do would be but it's back then isn't it it's back then in the old type and full of teenage angst okay so in 1995 Oh dear. I don't know if my streaming just went down for a second. I 
I don't know if my streaming went down, but I've still got the things going. <laughs> like OBS keeps crashing on me, but we should be good. We should be good for now. Right, if we do animal gym like this, right. So if we get that and make it right, right animal gym, right. Just lower this a bit. Cool. My OBS just crashed. I don't know why. That's the problem. I need a proper live streaming rig. Okay, so we've got Animal Gym there. And then... What, what else works? We've got four minutes. Three minutes now. Three, nearly four minutes. Um, <laughs> no way, I've got an idea. All these designs are going to look awful. If my stream does cock out, then don't worry. I shall come back. No, I can't do that. Animal Jim, let's just do... The simple is always the best. Create some dumbbells. Add a stroke, make it white, make it bigger. So I'm trying to create some like dumbbells, but I don't want them to look like anything else. Why am I saying cat? I'm not there, buddy. I actually live a thousand miles away. Just get a fat cat doing yoga. I know, I wish I could. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work like that, though. It's got to be like 1995 as well. Not having much luck with any ideas for this. It's a good way, though, of coming up with more ideas, I guess. I'm just sticking with my type principles. I'm trying to make something awful look funny. Right. How does that? It's if we can make the type look all right, it, you can't go that wrong. Or even, I've got an even better idea. <laughs> okay. Get rid of that. Okay, I have not incorporated any animal. I've just incorporated like traditional. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that that is my final one. I've got 40 seconds on the clock. So hopefully it'll start being doing better. I would like to be able to like, <laughs> I'd like to be able to show you guys or take your, your advice on it. I want to do it. But I'm not a very good illustrator when it comes to like illustrating things like that aren't letters, you know? Cool. So I had 40 seconds on the clock right there. I'll have a little break and then we'll go to the next one. Let's read some comments. These cards should, could make me question humanity more alongside my life choices. Yes, probably. <laughs> You're probably right. It's pretty crazy. Guys, if you're liking the stream, then please subscribe i'm gonna go back 
I'm going to go back and do this more often if you like it. I should do it so whenever I have the uh, the letters or the, the work that I've done, it gets put on merch at the end. <laughs> That's it, 40 seconds left. Just enough time to add some drop shadows and gradients to make it 1995. That is right. Right, I guess we go for the next one then. This game is hilarious. We can make it into a series of funny things. This is actually quite a fun game. It's probably more fun with different people though. Like different other people, more people in it. Um, okay. Are we gonna get going to grade on your designs? If so, I give you a not so high five. <laughs> you can grade me if you want. These are like less than 10 minutes. In fact, 10 minutes seems too long. Five minutes. I'm going to give myself five minutes now uh, on the next one. So here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. One on the left, definitely look, definitely a budget naps the logo. <laughs> okay, right. Th those I'm going to cut the cards as well, so we know that we know what we're doing with. Right. Okay. Here we go. First card. You guys read it first. Direct messaging UI for, so I'm designing a direct messaging UI for a Mexican drug cartel trying to go legit. Right, okay. <laughs> All right. And the modifier is, if it'll focus, go on, dude. And it's 1985. Right, so I've got to design a UI for the cartel trying to go legit. Um, and it says here on the card, they've done the crime, but not the time. They want to end on a high and start a new life in Peru, but don't know how to say goodbye to the good life. So how can this drug cartel go legit? <laughs> so I've got to do a direct messaging UI. Right, I'm not going to do it in any other place other than Oh, but it's 1985 as well. <laughs> this is going to be insane. Okay. Okay. I've got five minutes to do this one. I'm doing it inside of Illustrator. So here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Five minutes on the clock. So I'm, I'm just going to steal one that I already know. That's good. So let's just create, let's create this, make it to a screen. Okay. Let's grid it up a bit. So... I should say cartel okay and then we need some speech bubbles actually no we don't do speech bubbles we'll just do um i've got an idea i've got an idea okay i've got an idea Let's see if I can get this running. Oh, you can't see, you can't see. There we go. I keep messing up. This is why I need someone else. I'm sorry. There we go. It's so difficult to like do this at the same time as streaming, at the same time as thinking. Um, <laughs> so 1985. Right, cartel. So uh, it's called Mark. Let's just have like a bunch of what's going on, man. Let's just do this. Illustrate is acting very strange to me right now. I don't like it. Let's bring these points down. Let's pretend that's a message. So it's 1985, you've got to get the type right. And it's not going to look very good. Okay, then all we do is flip it. 
It's all we need to do. Actually, no, I'm not going to reflect it like that. We'll bring this down. Bring this down. Flip this. I've got two minutes and 25 seconds to create an app UI. Cool, I'm just trying to. All right, let's just say it's Greg. So it's 985 as well, so that means. Okay. Why is it illustrating anything so strange? Obviously not going to be perfect, but we'll give it a go. Cut our chat. Bring this down. Instead of using circles, use squares as the typing thing. Okay, and then down here we can have a line. How long have we got left? <gasps> We've got less than a minute left. Oh no, what the heck? Does that look 985? Probably not. I've got 34 seconds left to do finishing touches. There we go. 21 seconds. Okay, that's my thing. I don't think that's too bad for a 1985 one. There's no color to it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, that's it. There we go. That's it. I am going to make a little edit, though. Or is that cheating? I wanted to, like... I forgot to unsquare these out because I was going to... Yeah, it just looks terrible. But that's the main thing, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it could do. It could do. Mind you, I only had five minutes. <laughs> Getting critiqued on work in five minutes. You have the unfair advantage on critiquing me. <laughs> Hello, everybody that's new. That's one hell of an alarm for this. I know, right? <laughs> that's my, like, timer alarm. Okay, so that was... So that task was direct messaging UI for the Mexican cartel trying to go legit, and it's 1985. Brilliant. Do you guys like this game? <laughs> right, again, same rules apply. I have a little rest. I mean, this is actually a really good way of coming up with new ideas and being a bit different, you know? Okay, I'm 19, I have a friend who's 18 and he told me everything about old school tech. I like video games, old school tech, since I'm a gamer. Nice one. 1985 with the crazy pastel colors, yep. Or was it neon? Well, it depends. Love it, yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, it's awful, but it's just gridding it together, right? There you go. It's just gridding it together, it's not too bad. I might just bring my camera to be a bit further up, actually. Yeah, it's just goofy. Just a bit of fun. Good fun there, that. I enjoy that. Let's group all that together. <laughs> it's gonna like expand it as well. Just so I can bring it small. And then at the end, we'll just look at my five minute designs. 
<laughs> that, this is funny because I'm Latino. Yeah. <laughs> it is good fun. All right. Okay. So before I do anything else, I need to make sure um, that I actually have like my camera on my desktop as well. So let me just check something very quick. Awesome. Okay. Where'd you get the cards from? Adobe sent them to me today. Very kindly. Adobe were very kind and sent me them. I can see myself having a great time laughing at how terrible we are with my friends. Yeah. yeah I, I do like Cards Against Humanity. It is good fun. But in the crass we hope years, yeah. <laughs> Guys, if you do like the video, subscribe. It's good fun. Being on the channel is awesome. Uh, I'm going to play along with the next challenge. We'll tag you in on Instagram. Yes, guys, right, you've got to play along. Right, if you, anyone who's just popped in to hear this now, I apologize for no music. But um, what we need to do is I will give you a brief and I'll work on it and you work on it. You've got five minutes. At the end of that, tag me on Instagram, okay? Or like use a hashtag or tag me or something like that. Uh, and I'll see it at the end, and we can have a look. <laughs> It'll be good fun. All right. So I'm not going to bother shuffling these. Actually, no, I will just to show you guys that I am shuffling, that I don't have a clue. And then, here we go. Hopefully, we get one that's good. Uh, Will, are you going to do any more Adobe live streams this year? I might do. It depends. Uh, don't forget to show your screen, bro. I will not. I will not forget. Okay. Cool, so here we go, first thing, the task. It is, the task is, come on, I can't even see it because I haven't seen it yet. An event stand for, another event stand. They must have like different things going on here. I didn't put that into the pile, did I? So wait, let me check. Oh, so annoying. So an event stand for, here we go, please be all right for YouTube. Bikini bottom. Bikini Potom has a problem that needs your help. Tourism has died off due to the antics of a couple of their residents, and now there's no one visiting Goo Lagoon, the jellyfish fields, or even the kelp forest. <laughs> okay. Um, event stand for Bikini Bottom. And then the modifier. Oh, dear. Oh, not another one. And it's 1975. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. Bold chunky fonts, the last error of the hand-drawn illustration, and rainbows everywhere. Channel your inner Danny or Betty and take the customer back to the 70s. Right. Okay. So I make sure to put my thing back on your SpongeBob, yeah. <laughs> hey, Armel. Thank you so much, dude. It means a lot. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so event stand for Bikini Bottom. Right. How... Ugh, I'm going to be so bad at this. An event stand for Bikini Bottom, right. Let's just do it. I'll dust off of me. There we go. Right, five minutes on the clock. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bosh. There we go. Five minutes. I'm going to circuit this one. This one's not going to do well at all. So, again, I guess an event stand would look like that. So, we use that as the... Uh, let's use uh, a yellow. A yellow? Yeah, let's use a yellow. Okay. Um... I'd never suggest doing this, but it's worth a try. Sp SpongeBob. <laughs> there we go. I need to download a font. Two seconds, guys. Okay, install that. Okay. Oh, no. This is not good. I accidentally pressed Premiere Pro. Oh well, the show goes on. Okay, so bikini bottom. So 
find it. What? Oh no, it's called Crabble, isn't it? Okay. And it has to be from 1975. Dude, this is gonna not be very fun. What is the event? I need something like an event. I've got three minutes left. Have a star versus the backdrop, not a, not the candy. Um, <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Um, right, okay. Bikini bottom event. What do I do for that? Um, okay. Um, jellyfish. Wait. I've got an idea, but it's it's going to take a bit of brain power. Why isn't it working? Okay, jellyfish fields. And these lot. We can group them together. Bring their opacity down. Lock them. Choose a color. That sucks. I decircle this. I've got it's, a, it's an event stand to get people back into like the jellyfish fields, isn't it? This is just making like all the briefs on here make my designs look awful. <laughs> what was it? Goo Lagoon. Ah, <clears throat> oh, failed. Man, that sucks. That didn't take long at all. Dude. Right, well. <laughs> If anyone saw what I was trying to do, I was trying to do an event. I don't think I did a bad job of that, to be fair. If I had like 10 more minutes or five more minutes, I'd have gone through and at the bottom here, I would have actually like explained more about this fake event. Uh, the jellyfish or even the kelp forest. Yeah, I should have done the, some kelp design in there actually as well. Put some kelp in there. <laughs> okay, well, that was a fail. I think I'm going to give myself a fail for that. Good fun though. Man, if there's one way to make people think you're not very good at the job, <laughs> it's this doing it in front of hundreds of people. Um, oh, the bubble bowl. The bubble bowl. Five minutes, too little time. Yeah, five minutes is too little time. That's the idea. Just to get it out there, get it done. It's not meant to be good. You're not supposed to come out with something great. <laughs> Mainly just for fun. Okay, right, 
Where am I at? There we go. Okay. We'll do another one. How's everyone enjoying the chat? I need to re like kind of read through the chat again and <laughs> see. Man, I'm a bit nervous about doing this in front of so many people. Um, five minutes to all the time. Yep. Yeah. Krabby Patty eating cost test. Yeah, that's true. I remember that episode of the jellyfish having a rave in a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants, like, was honestly the best. Is it still going on? Can we go back to 10 minutes? I'm not going to go back to 10 minutes. No, because if we do that, then it's, it's easy. I think it's too easy. It's too boring. 10 minutes takes too long. What do you think? Should we go for back to 10 minutes, people? We could give it a go. We go back for it. <laughs> Dude, we're talking 70s let advertise and about smoking kettle. <laughs> I want to be like you and copy and paste work along a suggestion to improve myself. And copy your, you work a lot. Any suggestion how to prove myself? Um, seven minutes. All right. Everyone's spoken. People have spoken. People say keep it five, keep it seven. Well, keep, keep, keep telling me. Keep telling me. There's like a massive delay on the stream. I need to sort it out, really. Yeah, seven minutes. Okay, and someone says go back down to three. Wow, that would kill me. In fact, I need to go get those cards. You know, do you know all the other black cards out of the table? Okay. Yeah, could you grab them for me? Yeah, because there's a load of them. I didn't take all the black cards in. I only brought them in to show Brandon. I just had a call with Brandon. So, he's yeah, he's all right. Um, yeah, I was just showing Brandon because I was like loving the idea of it. True graphic designer energy when you have an Adobe water bottle. That's it. <laughs> well, I got psyched about it. I love stuff like this because I just got a package sent to me today from Adobe. Very kind of them. Adobe brand product, DLC everywhere. <laughs> cool. Right. We've got some more here. I'll put them on the top. So the black cards, anyone who's just popped in to have a look at what we're doing, um, the black cards, we're playing the game. So there's black cards, a deck of white, a deck of blue, and a deck of red. The black cards are tasks. The red cards are your client, the person you're doing the work for, which is an obscure one if it's red. And the blue is a modifier card. So it actually swings you in a different direction creatively or inspires you, or motivates you, or demotivates you. And you can get some ridiculous things in here. I'd like to see yours and then at the end, that'll be fun. Okay, so take the first card off the top. Here we go, what does it say? So I've got to create a contact form for, take a red card, fashion label for cats. Okay. <laughs> so, Wait, finally, you can ca your cat can dress like the cat it always wanted to be. The latest trends and styles are straight from the catwalk. Okay, fair enough. Right, so fashion label for cats. And then the modifier card. Their mascot is extremely bad. Okay. Is it totally offensive? Is it just terribly made? Only you know, and now you have to fit it into your designs. Okay, so we need to have a mascot, which I'm going to do because we've already got it because we designed it first and it's horribly designed. So we're, so we're going to do that. So it's a contact form for fashion label for cats. And the mascot is extremely badly designed. We've got seven minutes on the clock. Here we go, me and the computer desk. There we go. We are here. That is our mascot there. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. 
There we go. Right, contact form. Okay. Let's keep it simple. <laughs> I can't use Krabby Patty the font. I need to delete that off my system. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, name. Okay, I'm just going to keep it really, really simple, guys. I'm not... Now what am I doing? Right, sack it. Name. Name, okay. And then I need them to kind of put the names in here. Just doing the, the just doing the normal. Bring that out. Okay. Right, name, a contact form. Name. I, I guess you could just do email as well there. Email. Let's get rid of that. Don't need these things here. In fact, I might just make this a bit bigger. Um, con. I know that I know most people wouldn't have just contact form written there, but at the same time, it makes it easier for me. Okay. Right, your message here. Bring that back down to extra light italic. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, <laughs> I need to have a border around this, so let's do that as a border. Okay, and then this is where my idea came into play. So a basic contact form right there. We've got four minutes. This is the easiest one so far. I should really get the OB to check these. <laughs> um, and then what we need to do is take the really badly designed cat. Let's get rid of that for a sec. Is there a cat here? No. So part of the modifier of the card, the blue card, it says the mascot is extremely bad. And it's a fashion label for cats. That's the client. Right? And if it's a fashion label for cats, okay. right, I'll have it in the corner. <laughs> like this, because I've got a lot of dead space here. Right. <laughs> this is awful. People who are just w w coming into the channel now are going to be wondering what I'm doing. It's a lot of explaining. And then all we need to do is make it more subtle. Oh, no. Get that shape builder tool on the go. Okay, and then we bring the opacity down. Oh dear. So, for anyone who doesn't know, it's meant to look awful. I feel the need to say that. Um, oh, it is bad though, isn't it? Do some little final touches. Yeah, that's not too bad. I've, I've got two minutes 29. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> right. For anyone who doesn't know, yeah, Joe Down. <laughs> Right, so for anyone who doesn't know, I am weird without context. We're playing a game. It's a card game. Uh, and this card game, basically, let me just get me back up here. It's a card game, I'll show you. I've got them laid out here. So you get a, a black card from a deck, 
which is got a client on for this one. It was contact form four. So that was the work. Sorry, that's the task. And then we get the client card, which is a red one, which is a fashion label for cats. So you put them together, contact form for a fashion label for cats. And then you get a modifier, a blue card, and the mascot is extremely bad. So I created in under seven minutes, this bad boy here, <laughs> which looks awful, um, but hilarious at the same time. That is what we're doing today. <laughs> I like it when you can recycle assets you've made. That's true, I do as well. Cat is so dead pat, I know. <laughs> like drawing a bad circle. Uh, David Pruitt, you missed me embarrassing myself. Uh, just like when I was in high school, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people might not, might not understand what's going on fully. <laughs> well, you should type that and explain it. I pin it at the top, then people will know what's going on. It's how, so hard for me to explain that. How would I do that? How do I even do that on here? Can I do it? Um, oh, free to type. <laughs> okay, here we go. I might do it on here. Um, playing card game. Don't judge. <laughs> okay. There you go. I managed to somehow do it. Now sack that. I don't need that. No, I don't need that. Looks like something like Twitter Photoshop graph designer would make. Yeah. <laughs> Should have the signature. Uh, write a message here or something. Yeah, it does. Wait, if I can get back. Yeah, write a message here. It should have like, you know, name and stuff like that. I had seven minutes, but I didn't use two minutes of that. But that was pretty simple. It's just creating a contact form. I don't no, I'm not too sure I <laughs> nailed it. I know. This is the thing, right? Like, this is like dangerous for me to do because anyone who walks in on this and is just like, what are you doing? They wouldn't understand. <laughs> I'll get fired from any client projects. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to get a new artboard out and do the next one. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, feels like turning in the paper early. I agree. Okay, let's do another one. Imposter syndrome, yeah. If you've got imposter syndrome, you design them like that. Oof. Okay. Put these cards down. I'll definitely do one more. And then if you guys have got any questions, we're just messing around today, but a bit of fun. Okay, first one. Let's get a task up. First time using Illustrator, be like, okay, here we go. I have to design a weather widget. Oh no, uh, for this is going to be ridiculous. I can tell. Come on, you can do it, camera. For a website that smells sells premium cat urine from Greece. Well, I've got a cat already, right? so this is easy. And uh, the modifier is all their transactions are done using cryptocurrency. What is good? So I have to design a weather widget for a website that sells premium cat urine. <laughs> I don't think nobody's that busy doing something over there. I would like to get her to do one. Would you like to do one? She's doing the accounts. Uh, so a weather widget for a website that sells premium cat urine and all the transactions are done cryptocurrency. 
I don't know why there's so many cat ones. Like, is it something to do with like designers and cats? What? How would you make a weather widget for that? <laughs> Guys, if you are enjoying this, please press that red subscribe button. It makes my day when you do it. Okay. You know I mean? You might have to... Okay, I'm just getting ready, guys. Cool, right, let's do it. What are this card? So I don't get the start. So the cards are, again, I'll just show you, make it pop. This is like... That's what it's called. And there's a website, makeapop.com. I got sent these by Adobe and I'm playing with them with you guys. And we're, we're doing the thing today. Make it pop. Should really change the thumbnail. Um, so the next one is a weather widget for a website that sells cat urine. <laughs> I know. A weather widget. I guess I could just look at the weather widgets that I've got. I don't know. Right, let's start the clock. In three, two, one. All right, and I don't know where I'm going with this, so let's just um, <clears throat> try and work it out. What do the weather widgets on here have? I was looking at my phone for a sec. Um, okay, I've got an idea. Got to be quick. Let's create some clouds. I want to look at those cloud images again, actually. Yeah. Bring them all together. It ain't gonna be perfect, guys. Okay, there's a cloud, let's make it even weirder. Let's do some raindrops. Hmm. Bit of a strange raindrop there, but we'll give it. This is going to be weird. I know what, what everything that I'm doing is about cats. Yeah, I'm spending too much time in the cloud. Okay, right. The way that I'm going to do this, bring this back up here. Get rid of the rain. We need a lightning bolt. In fact, no, just the sun. stroke I'm, I don't know why I'm concentrating so hard because this is I've got how much time I've got left I've got three minutes just 
So wind. That's so bad for the wind. Oops. <laughs> kind of looks like a shrimp. Right, we'll just keep that as wind. That's got to be wind there. Right, we're keeping that. Uh, and then, so, <laughs> so bad. Okay, and then, all right, sun. And I need to do the whole thing. Hey, what's going on, people? People in the chat will explain. Don't worry, this looks very strange. There we go. How's that? Quickest sun I've ever made. Okay, right. I'm just going to keep it grey for now. Okay, so we've got the weather weather system here. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, we need more cat, definitely, and cryptocurrency. Um, I've got two minutes now, less than two minutes. And it says, make sure you post it on Dribble once you've designed it as well. I'm not doing that. I'm posting it to YouTube, that's even worse. Um, okay, we need the cat. This cat's been trusty. Let's do it <laughs> without the whiskers today. Let's just get him into the... <laughs> Wait. Right, that's in the sun. <laughs> that cat can stay there. That'll be fine. Recycle that asset. Exactly. Exactly. And okay. Um, okay, let's try and create, like, I've got one minute left. Okay. What does the Bitcoin look like? I don't know if this is what Bitcoin looks like, but. Thirty seconds left. This is probably not even Bitcoin, right? This alarm's gonna kill me in my ears. Done, right, okay, that's it. I've got, <laughs> let's just shove this somewhere. I finished it, so I can't design anymore, but I'm gonna finish the placement of it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I should have done it's raining Bitcoin, but okay. So that one was awful and that was hard. Uh, dollar sign with a B. Oh, okay, that's what it was. Uh, how many unfollows can we achieve today? Lol. <laughs> Okay, I need, I feel the need to explain what I'm doing again. Um, but, yeah, that's basically what it is. Awful. Funny, though. Good fun. <laughs> yeah. Pencils down, literally. Okay, that now looks like Wilson or whoever that volleyball with a bloody hand had. Oh, yeah, Wilson. Brilliant. That is funny, that. I have enjoyed that. That's been good fun. Right, I think we're going to leave it there, guys, to be fair. Because uh, it's nearly five o'clock my time. Which sort of means I'm going to go home. Um, but it's been good fun. I've enjoyed this. 
I know it's been different uh, and not not the standard kind of video, but seeing as how I was going to do some live vectoring and you know do some actual work, but you guys wanted this card game. If you want to go get the card game, it's makeitpop.com, I think. I think. Um, but yeah, good fun. Good fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video today because instead of like creating a video, sometimes I just want to hang out and chill out with you guys on here. And it's been it's been really good fun. But if you are new to these videos and you haven't already yet, but you've seen a few of them, press that red subscribe button. <laughs> you might see more of these videos coming about. Uh, make it pop game. Yeah, that's probably what it is, David. I think you've got it. Yeah, make it pop game dot com. It's really fun. Good to play by yourself. And to be fair, uh, it, it actually does help with your creativity. It, may, it forces you to do it, especially when you do it in front of other people. Like, you know, <laughs> it's three more minutes to 1 a.m. and I'm an intern graphic design job at 8.30. Oof. Oh, dude, you need to go to sleep. <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, if you did enjoy it, let me know. Post online, share the video. It will be out later for you to watch. So have fun. See you soon. Goodbye.